From bonding with the fish for decades, to preserving 150-year-old shipwrecks, any dive can turn into an adventure. Take the plunge into these four incredible underwater stories. Not very many people really know, but the Great Lakes has thousands of shipwrecks. In Wisconsin, for sure, we know we have 750 um, historic shipwreck losses. My name is Caitlin Zant, and I'm a maritime archaeologist with the Wisconsin Historical Society. I would say the main goal of what we do in maritime archaeology is to preserve our maritime history and also the history of the United States in general. The ships are quite sturdy, but they've also been underwater for up to 100, 150 years. Our shipwrecks don't disappear over time like they do in the oceans. The fresh water that's very cold actually does a really good job at preserving these shipwrecks. One of the really great things about Lake Michigan that makes it really unique is the fact that you do have fresh, clear water. You can see many times, especially on deep wrecks, 100 to 150 feet. When you are down there looking at a shipwreck, you start to think of all the sailors that sailed on it, or if it was a passenger ship, the passengers that happened to be on it. You can still find pieces of clothing in certain areas, buttons, shoes, um, and so that really gives insight to the lives of these sailors. There's definitely a, a little bit of a thrill of discovery. Um, when we go down on a ship, even on a ship that we know, we think we know what it is, there's still always that little um, sense of excitement that you're gonna find something that no one else has seen before. <laughs> ま、私は今 あの、よりこったのがやっぱ30年ぐらい前かな。と日本でいう小舞台、まあ、小舞があるからでしょうね。よく真正面から見ると人の顔に似てるんです。よく見るとね。どう誰かに似てるなと思う。これはね、1 ヶ月ぐらい経ったんですよね。で、それを見て餌取れないから毎日5個ぐらいずつ食べさせて10日ぐらいしたらでも良くなってきましたよ。うん。餌作る程度のことはどこでも誰でもできるとだから触れたりい
About as you do just before you went to sleep. Then one big breath, turn over and go. From the moment that you leave the surface, the blood is beginning to leave the peripheries and migrate towards the so-called noble organs. Then you start to sink faster and faster. Once you're free falling, it's pure pleasure. It's an incredible sensation of restfulness. You're going down and the colors change. You go down from a clear blue here to a darker blue and to a purple twilight and then finally into total blackness. And then we have a rude awakening, we hit the plate, and then we turn round and we have to work a bit harder coming up. And as you come up, you're working less hard because buoyancy is returning. And then it's like a rebirth, you're coming back into the light. The whole process is one of pleasure and a terrific sense of adventure and achievement usually changes some switches. All the things that I thought were impossible, all the things that I thought were not achievable by me, are. If that's achievable, what else isn't achievable? And that opens a whole Pandora's box. So it's quite an experience for you. だいたい4、50秒から1分ぐらい。ま、この潜ったとこに入ればいいなとか、いてほしいな。大きい。ああ、見つけた時は水中でね、多分本当に嬉しすぎてやったってボソってこう喋ってます。あの、あの時の感動
朝も本当太陽が上がったら目が覚めて今寝るのもすごく早くて人に合わせるよりもこう海の時間に合わせてる感じが強くて海で学んだことはすごく幸せをいただいてますギフトなんですね海は。はい Thank、you